How do you? And welcome back to the Ginger Shed Man YouTube channel. In today's episode, we're going to try and beautify, fix up, repair some concrete fence panels. Uh, not the panels, the posts. Um, not on our side, but on the neighbour's side. They're a little bit shot at and they look a little bit crap, to be fair. So uh, we're going to have a go at trying to um, put some epoxy, resiny cement in and shape them up just to make them look a little bit better for them. So, let's go! The idea behind this is that we are placing these panels, these wane laps, with some closed board panels. So I thought, why we're doing that? Might as well try and make the neighbour's side, Tony and Olive, now they're YouTube famous, try and make the side look a little bit aesthetically, more aesthetically pleasing. Um, so as an example, um, this post was missing a huge section of concrete out here. Um, it was right down to the reed bar. Uh, but the other day, I uh, did a little repair on it. You can't really see the difference. If you're going close, you can, because it's a little bit smoother than the original section of the post. But it just looks a lot better. Once it's painted up, you can't really tell unless you're an expert in studying what's going on. But yeah, it does look a lot better in the long run. And um, like I said, once they're painted up, they look good as new. So the product that I use to do this, because I have done a few of the posts on our other side, um, not the neighbor's side, but our side, um, a lot of those were shot at. I mean, the pretty old posts, I believe. You're probably getting on for 20, 30 year old. Um, so they've got to have some bangs and chips and that over the, the course of the years. Um, so I have fixed, I have fixed some before, um, and I always use this. I did a little bit of research. Um, this is a mason repair, mason no repair filler, that stuff, yeah. And um, it's really good. It sets solid. Uh, you can shape it up, you can paint it. Um, it's just an all round quite a good uh, repair filler. Like I say, it's this one. It's tuck pareil. You can tell my French is spot on since I work for a French company. Skills I have. It is French, by the way. I didn't make that bit up. <laughs> so with this, you can get this from Screwfix. That's where I normally get it from. I think B&Q in the UK now sell it as well. Um, you, once it's mixed, you do have about 30 minutes working time with it, um, which is probably enough because I don't mix a, a lot of it. Um, I just mix what I think is enough and then I just top it up if I need some more. Um, but people do use this for um, reforming like windowsills, stone concrete windowsills. So if somebody takes a big chip out of there, this is your stuff. Not a sponsor. Yeah, another good thing with this stuff. Sorry, there's a big gull going over. Another thing with this stuff is that you don't need no uh, form work or anything. You can basically layer it up and um, it doesn't flash or grin or sag or anything like that. So it's pretty, it is good stuff. I do like using it. It isn't cheap, um, but it does give you the results for the price really. Um, yep. And today seems to be a Sunday of Erms. <laughs> Nutter. Take me walking around all the time. I'm just gonna lift this panel out and I can put the new boards over the new uh, panel, sorry, and then uh, it's quick access for me to just quickly do those, uh, fix those concrete posts up. is now out and I have access to next door. Um, I'm gonna leave it just a little gap then the dog doesn't get through and decide to wander off around the village. <laughs> Which I don't think he would, but you never know. Okay, so I don't have a lot left. So they're gonna to have to just get out of whatever I can into that. Tools of choice uh, for me repairing these posts. It's a little trowel, only small. And they also use a 
an old scraper. Um, this one's been shamed over the years for cutting turf, but it's still okay for the job. And sometimes I use that as a little form to um, get the trowel up to, to give me a little bit of a square edge. Um, as square as I possibly can, uh, but then when it's all dry, I'll shape it anyway. So yeah, let's get some mixed and we'll crack on with uh, what we're doing. As I mentioned earlier, it's quite a warm day today. So I've made it a little, possibly a little bit runnier than I normally would, because I like to have it a bit firmer then I can um, properly shape the, the bit up on the post. But by the time I get around to next doors and that, this will start firming up anyway. So um, should be good to go, really. I decided I'm gonna do the one, the post outside of the back door. Just said it looks just a bit more aesthetically pleasing. Um, yes, yeah, so let's get over there and uh, make a start. So I don't tend to uh, just double check that nothing's too loose. I don't tend to break anything off. I'll just go with what we've got. Um, but I don't use any primer, anything like that. Um, one, I don't think you need it. And over the experience of using it over the last few years, five to six years probably um i'm not once had anything fall off that i've done so again that's why i like this product um and yeah it's good it's uh, stood the test of time so to speak so let me put some of this on and show you roughly how we do it like i say this mix is a little bit softer than i would normally like but it's, uh, it'll do the job still in these planned 32 degrees here in sunny Wigan. So first of all, I just start to lay with it basically. Move all these plants out of the way um, just to get a good, try and get a good match up to where we need to be with the original bits that are remaining. It can be a little bit fiddly, but once you start getting these layers on, it's not too too bad. What I tend to do, once I've got a good base, is I would um, let it dry and then build up on that. But today, because I've just mixed up all of the stuff that I have, I'm gonna try and do as best as I can from scratch. So not letting it dry. And try and make it look a little bit natural. I mean, bits I've broke off all the sides of posts. So I'm not gonna make it look brilliantly square because that's not kind of what the look I'm after. But we'll uh, see what we can do. And like I say, it might look a little bit slapdash, but I do shape it all up later when it's fully dry. Uh, for that, I normally use a rasp, an old rasp that I've got, a towel file as well, I've used before, sandpaper. Sandpaper do, does a job just as good as anything else. It's not 
sell two probably doesn't add any strength to whatever's uh, going on, but just makes it look a little bit nicer for uh, the neighbours, doesn't it? Elderly neighbours, like helping them out every now and then. A good neighbourhood watch as well, which is always on it. done as much as I want to on that layering up now and I shall leave it that to dry uh, come back to it in an hour or two should be able to shape it up I decided I didn't want to keep the perfect straight edge to match the original just wanted to kick in a little bit just to give it because most of the others are broke in some respect so I just want to make sure that it fits in a little bit to be frank uh, but yeah we'll let that dry come back to it when it's time for shaping it up YouTube. Alfie. Yeah. Mother does not not want to be on YouTube. Righty. So we have to excuse the shadow because the sun is directly behind me. But we're now drying off. Solid. It's been a couple of hours since I put all that on. Uh, solid off now to sand and shape. Um, I don't think it's 100% set. So I'm going to shape it up with some sandpaper, uh, probably better than using the tile, file and rasp I normally use, I think it'll probably take too much off. So we'll uh, try and give it a bit of shape and blend it in a little bit, then we can give it a paint like the rest of them. Cool. So just using Stanley sanding block. The reason I use this is that you can keep it relatively flat. It gives you some kind of something to work with anyway. With the what the shape of the original post. Here's a puffer and pan I call War Hawks, but it's one for a ginger. It's one for a normal person for a ginger. bits that I've missed I'm going to have to leave because I don't have any more of the uh, filler stuff so we we'll have to do the best we can with what we've got and what we've already put on I did fill in some cracks along here as well uh, you might not be able to see but there's some cracks down there as well in the actual face. So I'll just fill those in. Once you get the paint on them, you'll have uh, no idea.
another thing if you like this video please consider liking and subscribing uh, leave a comment below with any criticism pointers uh, your thoughts on what i'm doing uh, that'd be great cheers so there we go I'm quite happy with that it's a lot better than it did yeah we're not perfectly square up but it's enough to make it look a lot better um, and like i said i, I quite like by leaving the uh, naturally look to it and not going too anal about it all so yeah so once it's painted up um show you another look at it and that'll be it done righty all the finished article that's the post that i uh reshaped as you can see now it's painted can't really tell much difference from it being a full post and not broken really so i'm happy with that all good and i'm sure tony and olive our next door neighbors will be happy with it too Finished. Finished article, brand new panels, posts painted, gravel boards painted, some of the breaks in the concrete posts, tidied up a little bit, make them a little bit stronger. All finished. So it took 24 hours.